Hello, hello, boys and girls, this is Undertale, of course, and welcome back to some more Battlefield 4. This time we're gonna have a look at all of the LMGs, the light machine guns from the support class, and I gotta say, this has been a huge pain in my buttholes, so if you guys find the video enjoyable and helpful, please make sure to leave a like, maybe a favorite or share it, because I spent over 8 hours uh, unlocking all of these guns, and some of them are so damn boring and suck so damn hard, I can't believe it. They're horrible, some of them. But hopefully you won't have to play with them, thanks to this review at least. Okay, let's take a look at the first LMG you have unlocked in the support class, the Ju-100 MK5. This is a jack of all trades, but not in a good sense. It is just decent at basically everything. Uh, the only thing it does very well compared to the other LMGs is the reload time. It has a very short reload time since it has a normal magazine instead of being belt fed. It has a ridiculously low rate of fire, so sure, you might do well with it full auto, but the thing is that it is too low, low of a rate of fire to actually do any good damage to enemies, especially at medium to short range, since it only fires 560 rounds a minute. That is basically slower than any other gun in the game, so unless you aim better than the enemy, you will lose every fight when you use this gun, sadly. The second gun we're gonna look at is the Type 88 LMG. It's the second gun you unlock, and uh, this gun is a little bit better. It has a higher firing rate, a way bigger magazine, and I would uh, dare to say it is a little bit better at medium to long range engagements than the previous gun we looked at, simply because uh, it, it, it just feels better, to be honest. It feels to be more accurate, and with that large 200 round magazine, you won't have to reload load that often. However though, when you do reload one of these uh, belt fed uh, LMGs, you are always gonna look at like 4 or 5 seconds of reload time compared to 2 or maybe 3 seconds maximum at any other gun in the game, so you wanna be, be ready to, <laughs> to hide when it's time to reload. But it's a decent gun in medium to long range, I would say, not very good at short range, and uh, that's about it about the Type 88. Third gun we're gonna be looking at is the LSAT. It's the third unlock, of course, in the support class for the multiplayer, and this gun, honestly, oh, I hate it. It is not a very good gun at all. It's not good at short range, it is not good at medium range, and it is definitely not good at long range. Uh, it doesn't have a high fire rate, it doesn't have high damage, it doesn't have a quick reload time, it doesn't have a big magazine, it simply, it, it's like a jack of... It's like a jack of all trades when it comes to kind of sucking. I mean, it's not an awful gun, that's not it, but all of the other guns are basically better. I would claim that the LSAT is one of the worst LMDs in the game, stay away from it. Okay, the fourth gun we're gonna take a look at is also the fourth gun you unlock, it's the PKP Persinger, and the only really good thing about this gun is the increased damage output, it does 40 damage instead of just 30 damage, and honestly that's about where the good stuff ends with this gun. Uh, I used to love this gun, it used to be quite accurate at long range and medium range, and you could still do a lot of damage short range thanks to its high damage output, but the PKP Persinger in battle feel 4 just doesn't cut it for me. I don't know, I might need better attachments or something for it or no more training with it, but honestly, I did not like it. It just feels very off. It feels like it is very inaccurate, kind of like the LSAT. Next LMG we're gonna take a look at is the QBB 951, and it's of course the fifth gun you unlock. On paper, this gun should be quite a lot better than all of the previous guns, but honestly, this is kind of a mediocre gun too. It does everything a little bit better than the previous ones we looked at, but still, it's it's not a great gun. The good things about it is the 81 round magazine, so you actually do reload a lot quicker than having a 100 round belt fed magazine. That is a good thing, and it is quite stable, so you can make those long range and medium range shots a little bit more easy, but honestly, it's also let down by a very low rate of fire, and since it doesn't have an extra damage output, it only does 30 damage per round. It's not a great 
LMG, it's something you need to definitely aim for the head all of the time to make sure you win engagements. Okay, the sixth LMG we're gonna look at is the M240B and it is the sixth one you do unlock so it's quite late, but however it is worth it. It does 40 damage per round instead of just 30 and this one is a lot more easy to control than a PKP Persinger. It kicks like a mule but the kick is more controllable, it's easier to predict, so getting those headshots and, and upper body shots with this gun is a lot easier at both the short. Uh, medium and long range. I wouldn't say it's a sniper rifle at long range, but it definitely beats all of the other LMGs at long range. And at short range, like you can see here, it can really shoot up the enemies thanks to the 40 uh, damage per round. So this is one of my personal favorite LMGs. The only thing it really lacks is a high rate of fire, but everything else it got. Okay, last gun on the list is the MG4, and it is the seventh gun you unlock in the support class. There is a little trick, however, to get it quicker. I'm gonna talk about that right in the end of the video. Uh, this baby has 200 rounds in the magazine. It's belt fed, so it reloads slowly, of course, but that isn't a problem with 200 rounds, to be honest. It fires 800 rounds a minute, so with this gun, you can easily outshoot most uh, assault rifles, most carbine and most SMGs slash personal defense weapons and it is just a pleasure to shoot it is accurate uh, at short medium and almost long range I wouldn't say this is the best long range LMG I would say it's the M240B maybe uh, but honestly this is just a beast when it comes to short and mid-range engagements and this is the LMG I think all of you should bring to a fight the best thing about it is that you can unlock a gun that is exactly the same by playing single player and have this gun right in the beginning. It's named M249 and it is exactly the same as this gun. Okay guys, time to wrap this up and uh, like you probably have guessed by now, the MG40 is my absolute favorite. It just rips faces at short and medium range. It is a great LMG, I overall recommend it. It's one of those LMGs you can take to every fight and have a really good time. Uh, except for maybe long range engagements, then I definitely recommend the M240B or the Type 88 LMG. Both of those are quite good long range, but I would say personally I like the M240B a little bit better. As I said earlier, if you don't want to play the multiplayer for hours and hours in end, just play the single player and unlock the M249 because that is exactly the same as the MG4. As usual, thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye.